Hey what's up, it's Hugo here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to split a video file without re-encoding it for free on Mac and I'm going to be doing that with a little program or application called MPEG Stream Clip uh, available for download from this website and of course I'll be leaving a link to this website in the description for you guys to download it. It's completely free to use and you can go ahead and download any of the two versions available on their website. So I personally have downloaded the beta version uh, which works great for uh, Mac OS X Mountain Lion. And uh, once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it up and it should look something like this. Now just before I start off the tutorial, I quickly want to mention why we're doing it like this and why it's better to not re-encode your video when you split it. So because of course, if you want to split a video, you can simply do it in your video editing program, uh, split the part that you don't want or split in multiple parts and then uh, render out every single part uh, separately. So if you have to re-encode your video, you're going to lose time and you're going to lose a bit of quality of your video and obviously you don't want either of those. So that's why we're doing it this way. Now it used to be a little easier before. Uh, there used to be some programs around uh, that were really good at doing this, but unfortunately on the new versions on Mac of Mac OS X, um, Mac OS X Lion and Mountain Lion, you're not able to use those programs anymore. So this is pretty much an alternative, which also works great in my opinion. So. Uh, I got a little video here on my desktop and you can simply go ahead and drag it in like so and you can go ahead and preview your uh, video and once you're okay with that you can go ahead and start splitting it so what I usually do with when I split my videos is I take one video for example that's an hour long and I split it into for example four parts of 15 minutes although some people don't want to do that they just want to remove or delete a certain part of the video so of course you can do either of that with this technique it doesn't really matter it's totally up to you but i'm going to show you guys how to split it into multiple parts but uh if you want to just delete a certain part for example you have a tv show and you want to delete that uh, advertisements you can use the exact same technique like this uh, it really really doesn't matter uh that much so uh yeah so go ahead and choose where you want your first part to start off and you can go ahead and you know scroll with the the cursor on the timeline right here uh, to wherever you want your first uh, part to start off so for example if you want to want it to start off right here go ahead and hit i on your keyboard now hitting i on your keyboard will set the in point uh, for where you want your first part to start so you can also do this by going to edit and then select in right here and as you can see the keyboard shortcut for that is i and if you want to select the out part the keyboard shortcut is o so Go ahead and scroll through the timeline and you know pretty much go to uh, the point where you want your first part to end and then you hit O on your keyboard and you'll notice that the part that you've selected here your selection is uh, highlighted in a kind of a darker color then you know exactly where you've highlighted it so what I usually do at this point is I, I make sure that I leave the cursor exactly where I've set the end point or the out point which is really important because if we take one part and we want the second part to exactly start where the first part ended uh, you want to make sure you leave the cursor exactly at the same spot so once you've chosen your part one you go ahead and go to file and save as and you can pretty much go ahead and choose where you want to save it at this point so I'm going to quickly uh, save it on my desktop here and call it part one hit save and as you can see I have a little progress bar here popping up it will, say, it will say preparing for just a few seconds and it will be pretty much automatically done uh, it's really really fast so obviously it does need to re-encode the video so that's why it's it's really fast so here you have your part one or your desktop and as you can see it's exactly the same quality as your original video which is really really uh, handy of course and then the reason if you go back into the uh, program the MPEG stream clip application here the reason we left the cursor right here is so that we can send the endpoint of your second part uh, right where the endpoint of your first part was so I think that's really really handy and then you go ahead and you know scrub until you want to the second part to end so for example right here and then you hit O on your keyboard again and go ahead and do the same exact process maybe call it part two this time though and there you go it will take just a few seconds here it doesn't take that long as you can see there's a progress bar you might think he's actually re-encoding or the program is actually re-encoding the the video but that's not the case at all it's just purely uh, trimming it and uh, saving it as exactly the same format although it is possible if you want to you can still use this program to re-encode your 
a video in another format you simply go to file and instead of choosing save as you choose to export as any uh, other format here that are available so that's completely up to you but that's not the purpose of this video but as you can see right now the end of this video right here I've got my eyes closed just keep that in mind is exactly where this video starts as well if I go exactly to the start my eyes are, are still closed so <laughs> that's just to kind of prove to you guys that it's exactly the first part ends exactly where the second part starts and vice versa so that's pretty much how I split uh, my videos on Mac without needing to re-encode it with this really really handy program Ampex Stream Clip I think I already mentioned it before in my videos but um, really great uh, application and I highly recommend you use it if you want to split your videos uh, quickly uh, without losing any quality uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I thank you a lot for watching. I'm very sorry for the bad lighting on the camera. I know uh, I have noticed that, but I don't have uh, currently have any uh, good lighting yet on my new setup here since I've moved uh, to London. So I will be working on that. But uh, I thank you a lot for watching again this video. And be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and circle me on Google Plus, and check out my two latest video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want more great uh, Mac tutorials, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.